Comparing UK breakdown cover prices. This is a joke. Watch this video. Hello, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all well. So recently, uh, my AA roadside assistance uh, was about to expire. The previous couple of years, I had it on auto renew and I wasn't really paying attention to the renewal prices and that's more fall on me. In previous years, I'd always do a search for new prices. Anyway, this year, I thought, no, I'm not going to auto renew. I'm just going to see what the prices are. The AA sent me a renewal quote of £177. When I went on to compare prices, I looked at RAC and other lesser breakdown services, but I looked at the RAC and they were doing a similar kind of thing, about £170-odd for their renewal price. And that was for a new customer. When I went on to the AA site as a new customer, I got full roadside assistance, full uh, taking my uh, vehicle to any place I wanna go. It's personal cover, so it's any vehicle I'm in, driving or as a passenger. And that came in at just over 80 pounds. So a massive saving. So the question is, should you just renew with the same company? Well, potentially you can, but just don't take their renewal quote, or certainly don't even enter a negotiation with the company over their renewal price either. What you need to do is go and search as a new customer, new customer, and see what deal they're gonna give you on a new plan. That's what you need to do. And that doesn't just apply for breakdown cover, it can apply for anything really, because the renewal price is always gonna be a lot worse, and the offer that they give you is not gonna be great either. Always try and go in as a new customer first. That's what I've just done, and I've just saved myself a bundle as well. If you like what I do here, just keep on watching the videos, and I'll catch you again. Bye now.